Hi, we're to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It is uh, the Monday after week four in the NFL, so we're going to do our regular uh, Monday call with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com previewing the uh, Thursday night NFL game, and Joe Duffy did it again last week. Four and two against spread NFL, three and one in college, seven and three overall. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. No, thank you, Peter. We had a spectacular college football weekend, okay, in the NFL, but still overall winning weekend premium-wise. So two weeks ago, you were seven and two in our videos, and I jokingly was like, there's no way you're going to do it again. Then you went 7-3 and three last week. There's no way you're going to go 7-3 and three again this week in our videos, is there? Is that possible? Well, let's go 10-0 and 0 then. <laughs> All right. So quickly give a plug for uh, OffshoreInsiders.com. Over the last two weeks in our videos, you're 14-5 and five against the spread. How have you done at your site with your premium picks? Yeah, no, that's very consistent. I know we did go 5-1 and one with our college football a wise guy plays the strongest play in the handicapping industry. We're way ahead with football. Wise guy plays college and pro going back to the preseason. Way ahead with all plays. Joe Duffy's picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. 27th year in the business. All right. Well, you nailed the uh, the Thursday night game uh, last week. This Thursday night game is going to be a little bit tougher, though. We agreed on the, on, the, on the Atlanta side last week. We agreed that we both liked it. We agreed that the public was probably going to be all over it, and it wasn't easy covers. So that was a little bit of a gimme to the uh, betting world. Here we have the Giants in Washington. Washington's a three-point home favorite, and that line has gone down, right? It's three juiced, uh, but it was it opened at four and a half, so the Giants line has been uh, headed down. Maybe the injury to D'Angelo Hall has something to do with that for Washington. The total's 45. Washington, of course, off the high-scoring loss to Philly, and, uh, you know, the issues here, the Giants offense looked better last week, but how much was that just a one-week thing, you know, an anomaly, and are they going to regress back to being sort of like, uh, you know, inconsistent and out of sync, or are they going to, you know, continue to be pretty decent Kirk Cousins playing very well so far at quarterback for the Redskins, but how long is that going to last? We remember last year, you know, he didn't look like he was really going to be a – he didn't have it in him to be a reliable game-in and game-out NFL starter. But credit where credit is due, he has looked very good in two games so far. And then the Redskins' defense has also looked uh, very good uh, so far this year, but they now have uh, Halls injured. He's out for the year. They have a couple of injuries. So I don't know. There's a lot of uh, X factors here. Overall, I think I would lean towards the under 45. What's your take on this game, Joe Duffy? No, I'm actually going to go with the uh, Redskins here. Remember, okay. we did say last week we expected the Giants to finally come up big. We thought that was a big regression to the mean type game. But Washington here, uh, I think we also previewed the Eagles and the Redskins yeah, last that's week. that's right. And I said that Kirk Cousins is the better quarterback right now over RG3. There's no question that a healthy RG3 would have the biggest upside. But at this very moment, the Redskins are better with Cousins at quarterback, and the numbers are pretty impressive. 64.2% completions, uh, 105.8 quarterback rating. He's only been sacked twice. He's got five touchdowns to one interception. That's pretty darn impressive. You know, he's not necessarily one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL, but I'm just telling you they are a better team with Kirk Cousins than they are with RG3. And I don't think the odds makers are really acknowledging that. Uh, the Giants, remember, this is only their second road game. They, they lost their only road game by 21. The Redskins, only their second home game. They uh, won their only home game by 31. So with the line of three, and as you said, you do have to lay extra juice. The Redskins are the better team. Remember, home field advantage is worth three points. And the Redskins, in my humble opinion, are already the better team. I've said before that the Giants, yeah, I know they finally got a little bit of life last week. But when you look at uh, the, the way Giants last year, and the Giants are first two regular season games, not to mention in the preseason, that, that offense just looks like it's, it's pretty questionable. And you're right, the Redskins have been very tough against the run, allowing just 2.9 rushing yards per attempt. The team's normally getting 3.9. So I, I think the Redskins are the better team, and they're only laying three. So the Redskins are certainly the play. Why then do you think that the line has gone down? It's just that the that the the Wash that Washington hasn't looked like world beaters, so anything over a field goal is going to get bet down. Well, I do think that the public is still, and I was I made this mistake last year, but I think the public was still waiting for the Giants to finally start clicking and jump on them. And maybe I would have thought that way if it weren't for how terrible they looked last year. I was one of those people that thought that one of the big stories was how would the Giants, especially their offense, perform. And I don't put a ton of stock in the preseason, but considering that the Giants had so much to work on in the preseason, the fact that they were terrible offensively I do think was significant. 
And again, the fact that they had one pretty good game against a uh, Houston team. They, admittedly, Houston's got a, a heck of a defense, but their offense isn't so great, so it keeps putting the other team's offense back on the field. I, I think the public is, what do we always say? The public overreacts to the last game, and I think that's your answer right here. Well, Joe Duffy, you nailed the Thursday night game last week. You nailed the Giants game last week, ticking the Giants uh, over Houston, and you nailed the uh, the Washington game last week as well, picking the over in Washington Philly. So, uh, obviously, you're tuned in to, uh, to these teams and this kind of game. Washington, minus three it is. Joe Duffy recommending a play on Washington, minus three. Thanks, Joe. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.